done. So, as he's in his thing, you're making sure that we're turning him as often as possible? Yes. Okay. Because this is a pressure ulcer from him putting his foot down in one position. Okay. Is it? Mm -hmm. So we need to, there's, we just have to watch it right now. It's dry and stable, so we'll continue to watch it. Um, but keep an eye on it. If it ever changes color, starts to have a drainage, that's when we really need to take action. All right? Okay. But right now, it's just watching it. For the nails, you know, I'll take care of that. You bring him in like every two to three months and insurance lets us take care of the nail, okay? okay. And in between the toes, is it okay to clean it? Mm -hmm. and... Yeah, so you take a moist rag mm -hmm. and just kind of pass it between the toes. Okay. And then, you know, cause debris and dead skin and all of that builds up. Right. And so, once you do that, then you can moisturize it, but don't let the f the moisture sit in there, all right? Because right. fungus loves wet, dark, exactly, and moist areas. So you want to make sure after you do that, you moisturize it. Don't leave like a glob of lotion. You rub it until it's completely absorbed. All right, let's handle this. You ready? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think I saw this in the hospital. I was like, yeah, that needs, Oop. I'm sorry, my dear. See, I think it actually pulled. There's like subungal hematoma or bleeding, dry blood. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do a little by little, okay? It's all right. Ooh. Mm. This is why you got to take care of because this is dry blood from we had pulled at some point mm -hmm. and then blood and Well, he'll feel it. So he probably has some disease, dry blood right there. That's what it's like lifting up. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Okay. See, this is like dry blood from nail bed injury. Okay. So this is this is not him moving. He has spasms. Oh, okay. Oh, that's healed. Okay. Well, was it amputated? Well, still there. No. What I did was I removed this the, the bone in there. Okay. The bone was infected. So, and I know, I think I met your mom, and your mom was a little, um, dis not distraught, but just kind of 
I think I didn't realize how bad it was. Right. And so I said, you know, when I told her, I was like, right, we're gonna need to amputate it. Okay. And so we tried to. So this is my attempt at still keeping what looked like a toe, mm -hmm. but without a bone in there. And I did the similar thing for the fourth. Mm. Sorry. He's having pressure here too. So we need to put something between his toes when he's laying down. Mm -hmm. Any like the ankles, the big first toe, the, the fifth the fifth toe. So read that sheet and kind of decide on which one and I'll explain it to you. I'm sorry, dear. This is how, as far as how we take care of the fungus. Okay. All right. 